Welcome back to ATL Morning. It's 8.05 on a beautiful fall Thursday morning here in Atlanta. Coming up, Sasha Barone will introduce five low-calorie tasty snacks to help you get through the day. And Storm Richland will update us all on the five-day forecast. But first, the uplifting story of young Jimmy Epson. Oh, truly inspirational. Mm -hmm. As you may know, nearly 12 million Americans are suffering from necroambulatory disorder. While many of the infected have died off, others are still living with the problem. Mark Updike has the story. Mark? Caring for those affected by NADS is a hot-button issue in the current presidential campaign. But we have a different side of the story. A remarkable tale of one boy's brave fight to keep his family together. Jimmy Epson is a typical suburban teen in many ways. He's a member of the high school yearbook staff, a shortstop on the baseball team, and a solid B student. But Jimmy isn't typical. Jimmy is one of the walking dead. Breakfast is served. Ah. Handshakes. Jimmy's parents have suffered from necroambulatory disorder since before he was born. This is the only family he's ever known. Now, Jimmy finds himself in an odd role. The role of caretaker. While other kids may struggle with the responsibility of caring for a hamster or a cat, Jimmy is saddled with the responsibility of providing for his mom and dad. I'm off to school. Be good. Bye, Dad. Uh -huh. Hey, Jimmy, cats. Hey, Jack. Hey, go, Nads. Shouldn't you be eating some brains or something? Go cry, Zetar. <laughs> they called you names. Yeah, I hear it all. Gonad, Zetard, ugly. And how did that make you feel? I don't really let it get to me. I mean, I'm not really like that. Like a zombie. Don't use that word. I apologize. Never use that word. Sorry. I'm sorry. While Jimmy may look like a regular boy, he is anything but. Jimmy is a unique case. He carries the NAD wireless, yet has a certain immunity to it. Let me explain. Jimmy's mother was infected while she was pregnant. While this turned the mother into a member of the Walking Dead, little Jimmy was protected from the virus. The embryonic fluid acted as a resistor. So while the mother was completely affected, little Jimmy was not. I'm perfectly healthy baby boy. Except for the craving of human flesh. Of course, Yemi still carries the virus that produces the need for human cells and their regenerative properties. But he is a fully rational and responsible human being. He has the brain power and the willpower to fight his instinctive cravings. Interesting. I took care of him as a boy, just like my own. But eventually, Jimmy wanted to go live with his folks. I understand that. That's tough for a boy that age. But I come by every night with dinner. I work at the morgue. What about those who say that people like your parents should be put down, that they're a danger to society? Look, they're harmless. They're trained pretty well now. The TV keeps them entertained. They like Dora. But do you ever feel like you'd like to just sometimes be a, a normal kid? I am a normal kid. I've got a nice home, loving parents, and they rarely attempt to bite me anymore. But should a 16-year-old boy be <laughs> actually... <laughs> home? Bad, bad. 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 Yeah. Very naughty. Here. You just have to let them know that you're the one in charge. In conclusion, those suffering from necroambulatory disorder have the same inalienable rights as any other citizen, 
and with the proper training and safety precautions, victims of NAD can live healthy and productive lives. We can make special facilities that can be funded by the government to help this. This is ridiculous. Your parents kill and eat people. How can people accept that? Despite all the pain that Jimmy has been handed in life, he's managed to overcome nearly all of it. Jimmy's not the best student, but he has the biggest heart of any child I've ever taught. If the other students had even half his initiative. He called my mom a zombie. I'm not a zombie. We're not zombies. I have good days and bad, just like anybody else. You're a brave young man, Jimmy Epson. Brave young man. Reporting from Alpharetta, this is Mark Updike. Reese, Molly, back to you. Fascinating story, Mark. Tell us, why is Jimmy home from school today? Unfortunately, Jimmy was suspended for the incident at school. Mm, that's a shame. Well, the important thing to remember, Molly, is that Jimmy knows he did wrong and admits it. He just wants to be treated like a human boy, not a zombie. What did you call me? I said you didn't want to be treated I'm like not a, a zombie! zombie. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Somebody help! Ah! Help me! Ah! Oh my god! Help somebody! And we'll be right back. Reese? What the f- Number! 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 Did somebody say number? Well, come on down here, Jasper County. They will say some lumber. Lumber! We got the two by four. Six by six, number three. Two by six. Yes, fine. Fresh you treated. It's a lumber. Extravaganza! 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 Lumberbarons does it all with one hand! I'm the king of the world! Welcome back to ATL.